Hi, I'm Josh Ozersky, and I'm here on eHow.com making potato latkes. Hanukkah has come round at last, and that means only one thing, an excuse to eat potato latkes. Hanukkah, you may or may not be aware, is the Jewish festival of lights. I learned to make potato latkes, which are the definitive quintessential Hanukkah treat at my grandmother's knee. Now, one thing you'll find when you look at my latkes is that unlike the new school modern American Waffle House latke, it is not simply a shredded potato that is in the shape of a cake. No, the real old school shtetl latke was uh, a soft, mushy thing on the inside, thickened with egg and flour a little bit, and cooked up in a lot of hot oil and or schmaltz. Usually I would take four big potatoes, a onion, some half a cup of flour, say, and a little bit of baking powder. So now I am going to take an onion and I'm going to cut the end off like so, dispense with it. Then I'm going to make a little slice. That's how I get the skin off. All the sulfuric acid in the onion is going to come up and hit me in the face. And no matter if I hold kitchen matches in between my teeth, or wear a gas mask or goggles like the Mole Man, it's going to be a difficult bit of business. But that only makes it so much better. OK. So now I have onion and liced enough to make it sappin. All right, so normally there should be a lot more of this, but I just wanted you to have an idea of how to make latkes and what goes into it. So here is my potato mush, and I'm going to take an egg. I'm going to put an egg in there, and I'm going to take a little bit of flour, less so than I normally would, and the baking powder, use it very sparingly, almost just like a little pinch but it just gives it a, uh, it gives it an extra lightness. I believe that it is a similar effect to what the bubbies get when they put seltzer into the matzo balls to make them extra light. All right, now I'm going to mix this all up together. You know, a latke is not supposed to be that thick. It's not supposed to have that much egg. A lot of times, You'll go into a deli or a restaurant and they'll have latkes that are sitting in a case and they are as dense as depleted uranium and they reheat them to order, but that's really not how latkes work. They're not supposed to have enough egg in them to hold them together that much. They're supposed to be essentially very, very lacy. All right, now we get the oil going. All right, so I took some chicken skin and I cooked it in this oil, a little treat for the cook, but uh, the main thing it did is in rendering out, it put some schmaltz into the oil, which gives it that little bit extra flavor and that little bit extra mouthfeel that makes it taste like old time, because this is a very nostalgic dish. This is a dish that's meant to remind people of their childhood. And uh, generally, the older you are, the more unhealthy it was, the more associated with schmaltz. I'm going to take about a tablespoon and I'm going to spoon it in. I'm going to make very small latkes. I'm going to spread them. These guys will float up when they're ready. But they should basically be wiggling and jiggling right over the surface of the pan, much as a pan fried fried chicken would do. So I'm going to turn this over. And now, here's the thing. It's very tricky with this kind of frying because you want the oil to be very hot but not too hot. Latkes swim in oil. They're covered with oil. There's oil everywhere on them and in them, but they shouldn't be super greasy. And the only way to keep that from happening is to make sure that it's super hot, the oil. I mean, it should almost be like... I mean, it should almost be like at the verge of the smoking point. They usually say that 375 degrees is the right temperature, but it probably has been lowered significantly by the addition of the schmaltz. That said, these latkes are beginning to look pretty good to me. 
there's all this like little lace work and there's all the like little holes that it emerges from. It's like one of those islands, those newly born islands, you know, in the Maldives or something. This is ready to come out. It looks just like Bubby's did, really. I mean, except it won't be as good as hers. And that is the story of the potato latke. I'm Josh Ozersky, and I'm here on ehow.com. Thank you.